Hi, I'm James Roundy, and today I'm gonna to be taking you with me as we explore this analytic tool called Alteryx. So this is Alteryx. We have a canvas here. We have kind of our ribbon with all of our tools. When I drag a tool onto my canvas, my configuration pane on the left changes specifically for that tool. So that's why I said drag, drop, and configure. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with uh, an input data tool. So kind of with any um, workflow that you're doing, we're gonna start with data. So um, that may be a file, it could be a database connection. I'm gonna choose to set up a connection to a file. But you can see here we have all these different file types that we can use. Uh, from Excel, text files, CSV. Um, there's tons of different data sources, including systems. They can be found as well. If it's not on this list, there are connectors available um, for a lot of different products, but also if there's an API connection, Alteryx can connect to those as well. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab an Excel file. And this is just a very simple two sheet workbook with a few records. We're gonna start with our old sheet here, but you could always select a range of um, cells or even a named range here if that was applicable to you. Um, I can see here that my uh, preview automatically populates so I can see a little bit of what my data looks like. And if I go ahead and run this workflow, I'll see that my results pane down here at the bottom gets populated and it gives me a little bit more information. Uh, so I can see that there are some different colors, uh, even some red. And if I hover over that, it lets me know that I have trailing spaces. So it kind of lets me know a little bit about problems that are potential within my data. Um, I can also see that I have a row here that's all null or blank uh, that I may want to get rid of as well. So I'm gonna bring in a tool uh, called the data cleansing tool. Um, onto my workflow, I can see that it automatically tries to create this little line here to connect the tools. And when I bring that in, I can see here that all of my columns and everything else are, are here uh, that are in my data. Um, it's automatically selected to remove leading and trailing white space. So I don't even need to bother with that. The only thing extra I need to do is remove null rows. So this will get rid of that one row that has all blank values. Um, you can also do that with a filter if there was specific criteria, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and run this workflow. And then I can see my results. So before the tool is run, I can see here that um, we have that, that little trailing space and after it's gone. So it no longer shows up as red. Uh, we're good, our data is good. Um, now on top of this, Alteryx is highly documentable. So one thing that I can do is tell everyone what this tool is doing. So there's a little annotation over here that I can say remove null rows and trailing white space. And that'll show up right on my workflow underneath the tool so that somebody can see exactly what's going on in this tool without having to click into it. Um, so that helps really identify the process and see how your data is moving. But once this data is nice and clean, I can bring in my other data set so we can do this comparison. Since it's the same workbook, I can actually copy and paste this directly into the workflow and then just change the sheet that I'm using. So I was using the old sheet. Now I'm gonna to switch to the new sheet and then refresh my preview. And I can see here that my data looks a little different. So uh, my column headers actually start on a different row. So I'm gonna easily update this to the appropriate row and hit refresh. Then I can see that my column headers are on the correct row I'm going to go ahead and run this so I can do that check on my data to see how it looks. And I can see here it's green across the board. So we're ready to kind of connect our two data sets before we um, do this 
uh, comparison. Now in Excel, I'd be using a VLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP. If I go up to my search bar and do a VLOOKUP, it's going to do a few things. One, it shows me the tool that's most closely related to that VLOOKUP. It also has community articles that are written by people just like you that found solutions and posted them to the community, or maybe they had a question that was answered. Um, Alteryx sometimes does have help articles as well uh, on specific items. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this tool from the search and bring it onto my canvas. See, it automatically connects here. And then I need to connect also from my other data set. So I'm going to left click on the output there of that tool and drag it onto this side. And now I'm going to configure. So I'm going to choose what I'm joining on. So what is my unique identifier between my two data sets that I can join to do the comparison? And in my data set here, I have an ID. But maybe it's um, maybe you have like a company code or entity or whatever that may be. Um, you can do that here in the drop down. I'm going to choose ID. But if you had multiple things, maybe normally in Excel you'd have to concatenate your company code and an entity before doing your VLOOKUP. This would allow you to just instantly join on whatever else needs to be done to create your full unique identifier. Uh, but in this case, since I only have this one. I'm going to go ahead and run. When I first saw this tool in action, I was super excited because of all the reconciliations I was doing at the time. But what I can see here is in this tool, I have three outputs. I have a J, which is everything that joined, an L, which is anything that was in this left data that's not in the right, and then an R that's the opposite. So anything that was in this data that's not in the left data. If I look at the J, I'm going to see that it brought every single column over from my other data set. Now you can always choose to deselect anything, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that the way it is. And then I can see these other records. This is something that was in this, that's not in the other. And the same thing with the right side here. This was in the, the right side data that's not in the other. So that was really powerful to me whenever I first saw it. Um, but now that we have these columns next to each other, now we can actually perform comparisons. Um, in Excel, you normally, in a new column, uh, create a formula that determines whether or not they're the same. And I'm essentially going to do the same thing here in Alteryx. So I'm going to bring in a formula tool onto the canvas. And then the first thing I'm going to do is name my column, which I'm going to add a new column and call this difference. And then I have some choices here on how I do this. So there's a little X that allows me to see any of my columns. So I can actually just choose one of these and then just do simple subtraction. It's a little minus sign. And if I type amount, it'll also pull up anything that like columns that are named that and different formulas and things like that that have amount. Now, once this is in here and I hit run, I'm going to see that a new column has been created. And again, I can click back and forth. This gives that auditability, right? So we can, we can see how the workflow is transforming the data every step of the way, um, which is very helpful, not just for documentation, but understanding where things may have gone wrong. Maybe you see a calculation that's not coming out right you can backtrack and see how it changed every step of the way uh, instead of, you know, with Excel, it's much harder. You usually wind up with very complex formulas. You can do this kind of just ad hoc. And the beauty of this is it's still not changing my source data. My original file stays intact and it never gets touched. We're just grabbing the data from that and doing transformation within Alteryx. Now, once we have our differences established, maybe we want to also check to see if there is, if these dates match. So I'm going to do that real quick. Again, same thing. I'm going to add a new column called date match. 
and I'm gonna write an if statement. Now in Excel, you'd wind up having what they call a Boolean if statement, um, which is, you know, you have like the comma separated values, things like that. In Alteryx, they actually have a very neat, uh, you can still do the same if statements, but they also have this, which is very much a written out if condition, then what do you do if it's true? Else, what do you do if it's false? I like to put these on separate lines just to make it a little clearer, but I'm gonna do for conditions, I'm gonna choose if date equals that right date, then, and in quotes, I'm gonna put yes, else, no, and then it kind of has that end if there. Now, if we run this, we're gonna see an additional column was created called date match, and it lets you know that if it matched or if it didn't. Once these are in place, maybe you want to filter these off. Maybe you only wanna see where there's differences, or maybe you wanna apply different logic to each of these based on if there was a match or a difference. You can absolutely do that. We have a basic filter here that can allow you to just choose difference equals zero. And then that will split that off. You can also use a custom formula to choose multiple criteria for that. So we have two. So anything that didn't have a difference here for the numeric values comes out of that true and we also have this come out of the false. Great thing about this is we're not losing any of our data. It's still all here. Um, so we can account for that. Maybe we wanna have different outputs or maybe we just don't care about anything that didn't match. And from here, we can send that over to a output tool. Now your output tool, that can go um, to Excel. It can go to PDF if you really wanna be mean to somebody. Uh, it can go back into a database um, or even to a business intelligence tool like Power BI or Tableau for visualization. Um, so you have a lot of different options there. But one of the main advantages to Alteryx is once this process is built out, documented, you've tested everything, make sure it functions properly, the next time you get this data like new data and you wanna run this, it's just a matter of updating our input tools here and rerunning our workflow. So that's where the automation piece comes in. And again, this is making it to where there's so less chances for errors. Um, it's going to be because you don't have somebody copying and pasting things and trying to do the same formulas over and over again. All of that functionality can be put into Alteryx so that your people and you can get back to actually analyzing the data instead of just constantly manipulating it. Thank you so much for your time today. Um, I think this is going to help you as much as it's helped me, uh, as well as your business and giving your people time back so they can have a good work-life balance. And if you do have any other questions, please reach out to us at www.embarkwithus.com or you can find me at LinkedIn. Again, my name is James Roundy with Embark Consulting.